I can't go on vacation because there's nowhere to go. How do I keep myself from being burnt out? And so, you know, so many of us had vacations planned. Some people had like more than one vacation plan. We're in July. It's when a lot of people would normally go on vacation and no one is able really to take those vacations that they wanted to. And People are wondering, like, am I going to get burnt out? What do I do? So here's sort of what I'm recommending that people do so you can prevent burn burnout and you can continue to build your smart practice is that you look at your schedule and schedule in some self-care days, mental health days, vacation days, whatever you want to call it, and put it in your schedule, even if you can't go on a traditional vacation. So if you normally work Fridays, maybe take two Fridays off a month. If you normally work five days, maybe try to work four days, put a random day in your schedule that you are not going to see clients. You need to take care of yourself, even if taking care of yourself is going to look very different than it normally looks. You're okay. I get it. You're not going to be able to go like on a week long, you know, European vacation or go to a beach house this summer, whatever it is that you normally do for a vacation. Maybe it's not even that grand. Maybe you just take off of work normally and hang out at the house, but all you've been doing is hanging out the house and you don't want to, you know, necessarily take off a week, but I want you to schedule time in your schedule, in your client load to make sure that you're taking care of yourself. Maybe you don't even want to take a full day every week. Maybe you just work a half day, one day a week when you normally would take a full day and spend that time just really taking care of yourself. We need to make sure that we're taking care of ourselves. I saw this really, you know, great meme that was like, you know, you are a therapist right now helping people through a pandemic. That is enough. We are doing a, a lot of work. We're giving to our clients while we're also managing our own stress, our anxieties. And so you want to make sure that you're taking care of yourself. I'm a big fan of us building smart practices through taking care of ourselves. Why? Because it's the analogy. You can't help others if you don't have your mask on first. So I really want you to ask yourself that question. Like, how are you putting the mask on yourself right now? Are you giving yourself enough space to be able to take care of yourself? Are you following up with the things that you enjoy doing? Are you taking time off to decompress, to regroup, to, you know, fill your cup up in whatever way it is that you want to fill your cup up? It's, important, especially during this time when things don't look how they normally look, for you to really assess how are you taking care of yourself? This video happens to be on, are you taking off enough time? But there's a lot of different ways that you can take care of yourself. Maybe I'll talk about some of those ways in, you know, future videos. So, you know, comment below if you are wanting me to talk about some self-care strategies specifically for mental health professionals. But I think that a lot of the times we get really focused in this group and in these videos on how to work, 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 have good systems, market, do all of this stuff to have a really smart practice. But your smart practice ultimately starts with you and you having good mental health and you taking care of yourself and you, you know, having the, the energy to be able to serve your clients in the way that you are meant to serve your clients. You are meant to fill their cups up, but you want to make sure that you have your cup up. So think about your schedule. I want you to look at July and August. I'm like looking down at my planner, even though one, I don't have a planner for uh, this year yet. My planner ended on June 30th and I realized I need to order one. Um, and this is where my planner normally sits, but pull out your planner if you have one or pull out your phone. And I want you to right now schedule some dates for yourself that you're going to take off for your mental health days, for your self-care days, whatever you want to call that, especially if you had a vacation that you had that was canceled due to the pandemic, you deserve that time. So I want to take a moment to thank our sponsor, Therapy Notes. If you're looking for an electronic health record that can really help you run a successful and smart practice, I want you to take a look at them. You can run an online practice, an in-person practice, or a hybrid practice. You can send paperwork. There's an online portal. You can do your telehealth sessions straight through their bill, take payments. Everything is full service with Therapy Notes, and they have wonderful customer service. So let us know about the time you're taking up for yourself. You deserve this time as therapists. We need to make sure that we're not burning, you know, the candle at both ends. A lot of people are 
taking care of their practices or taking care of their families in a different way than they normally are. I hear you. I see you. I feel you. Everybody, you know, is feeling a lot of stress right now. It's a high stress time. There's a lot of uncertainty about what's going on in the world. It's kind of been the theme, I guess, because I'm feeling uncertain about what's going on. So my anxiety is coming out through these videos, right? But it's also because I'm reading about your anxieties. I'm reading about, you know, should I go back to the office? Should I not? And really right now, the question I want you to ask yourself is how am I best taking care of myself? Am I scheduling time for the things that I need to schedule time for? And what am I doing to really take care of myself? So I want you to let us know how we can best support you in this process. Let me know whatever questions you have. And I'm here most days at 3 p.m. answering your questions. Bye, everybody.